Yes, sir. Yeah. So now I want to I want to talk a little bit about social media and because, you know, ever since we've been connected, I've, I've been seeing your growth on social media. I've, I've seen like how you have a unique way of, of sharing your perspective, sharing your point of view. And I, I, I can actually appreciate your content, Justin. I, I can really appreciate it. Uh, so with, with social media playing an increasingly crucial role within sports journalism and with, with marketing, how do you strategically use platforms like Twitter, Instagram to build your credibility as an on-air talent and engage with your sports audience? I think Twitter, X, whatever they want to call it nowadays, has been more of a um, focal point for me now. I started realizing how many people in that space use it. So when I was at the Summer League, I definitely started using it more. Um, Twitter has never been, or X, you know what I'm talking about. That has never been my like forte all the time. I usually get on there just to watch funny videos or get my sports info, but that's definitely a driving demand. Everybody knows nowadays social media is a driving force. That's where you get the quick hitter information. People don't watch full games as much as they do, um, much as they used to. They just want to get the highlights. You can see a Bleach Report, um, House of Highlights, and you got all your information you need to know. So for me, I try to engage more now, especially on the Twitter X side of things. Instagram, I just try to think about stuff that um, I enjoy. I try to be very transparent on Instagram because social media is fake a lot of times. Like people only want to show you the, the glitz and the glamour. Um, I just try to give it from perspective and try to give people and let allow people to see some of the stuff that I'm seeing. Like you talked about game day and things earlier. Very few people are ever going to get that experience. So I like to show people like this is what it looks like, you know. Um, so I just feel like that helps engage fans, followers, whatever you want to call them, just to be able to see. I know for me, when I was growing up, that's the reason I, I used to do my vlogs a lot. Like you can go to my YouTube and see a lot of my time at um, Sanford. And I think I had one Auburn track meet on there. Um, giving people a behind the scenes looks of what it's like to be a college athlete competing in track and field at a high level. Um, people enjoy that stuff because a lot of times people can't be a part of it. So they want to see or they're expecting to be a part of it down the road. That's I feel like it's the biggest thing I try to show with that audience, the ones who have those dreams and aspirations that I once had and kind of showing them a glimpse of what it's like. You're not going to be able to get as much um, information other than from the source. And I feel like I was a source of that information. And let me just use and capture the stuff I'm doing anyway. And then aside from that, it's good memories for myself to look back on. So that's kind of how I um, approach it all with social media. For sure. Yeah. And I mean, one, one thing I really appreciate about your content was when you were doing courtside with Stuck and when you were doing mm -hmm. Saturdays with Stuck. And I was like, wait, what? You talking to Charles Barkley? And, and I, I saw one one time you're talking to Charles Barkley. I saw a couple of weeks later you were talking to Frank Thomas. And then it got mm -hmm. to the point for me. Right. Because I've never been to an Auburn game. But it got to the point to where as I'm following your journey, I was just curious of who, who was going to be the next guest that you were talking with. And then it got to the point to where I was like, man, well, how did he even come up with this concept? So talk, talk a little bit about that, Justin. Like, how did you come up with that concept or wh where did where did you know, like where did this idea just just pop from? You know, what's funny. This whole day has been about Saturdays was stuck. I was just love meeting about it. But so Saturdays was stuck came into the picture right after I tore my knee, actually. So for those that don't know, I was, John mentioned early, three-time All-American high jumper, um, had a injury, I tore my patella, and so I was down for a while. And while I'm down, I was playing Fortnite and brainstorming ideas. And I knew I wanted to get really heavy into the social media broadcasting space, whatever you want to call it. And so I originally pitched the idea to some people at Auburn. I was like, hey, I want to get involved like, let's use this idea to help me get involved and help you guys create traction. They, whoever, I don't know if these people are even around anymore. They weren't going for it. They were just like, ah, you know, give me the run around. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'm just going to do it myself. What was funny was, before the first game, I almost sat on the idea. Like, I almost didn't do it because, not that I was discouraged, but my idea is I was going to have cameras and people, you know, capturing it, doing it for me. And so I was like, you know, let me just bring my, my little handheld mics just in case. And so me and my roommate went to the game. I was like, bro, will you just video on my phone? So I just did it. And it got like 80,000 views. 
And after that, I remember uh, them reaching out in the marketing department and was like, uh, hey, you know, if you want to keep doing those, you know, you collaborate with us, da, da, da. And I was like, oh, now they want to uh, get on it. And so I, I made a point to let them know, OK, like, you know, this is my thing. I just want you guys to know, um, like, I appreciate, you know, everything. But this is all my idea. That's why I got my name in it. Like Saturdays with Stuck is me. And so I just kept doing them. And I thought people enjoyed them, all the stories they were getting. Like you mentioned the interviews I was getting out of them. And so I was like, ah, I've been doing them in Auburn. Let me test it outside of Auburn. So I went to the Colorado game. And I actually have, oh, where is it at? This is, this is some exclusive content for all you uh, ballers out there. Hope I don't. Hold on one moment. I got it. Where is it at? Where is it at? I see the thing. Oh. Hold on, ballers. I got it. Okay, here it is. Put this down right here. This is the the access pass. I don't know if it shows right there to the Colorado Stanford game. Mm. So I went to I went to that game. Right. Shout out to my my good friend Malika who got me in, got me tickets or whatever. So at this point, I had nobody to film like that was with me, and so I still wanted to do it. So. When I would introduce myself to people, I'd ask if it was like a second person. I was like, well, you video this while I interview and just kept going like that. I got a chance to meet Emmett Smith, um, Anthony Anderson. I interviewed Deion Sanders' daughter, and I didn't even realize it until afterwards. Um, but it was just a great environment. I got that pass to where I was able to be on the on the field. So that gave me more access. Like I got to video Deion Sanders, incorporate all that environment. You know, Colorado was way up at the time. And so um, that's how everything happened there. And that video went 50K views without any collabs, just pure my post. And I was like, okay, it's still doing great traction. People are still interested in this concept. What else can I do with Stuck? So, and so from there, I was just like, okay, Saturdays with Stuck. I just did, oh, I look like I froze on there. Did that freeze up? You frozen right now? Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Okay. Um, I, sorry, I froze for a second, but I just kept doing everything that was with Stuck. So courtside was Stuck. Saturdays was Stuck. Soccer was Stuck. I started doing a bunch of stuff because I was like, people enjoy this. It's helping build my, my own content, and I'm showing viewers, the audience, a different side of Auburn, these athletes, the environments, and showing people what they need to go try to do and experience themselves. Man, man. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. I can't. I can't leave this part out. I can't leave this talk part to me, out. Talk to, talk to the me. reason. The reason that I started Saturdays was stuck, and I just said this to um, these people in the meeting, was whether you're on, whether you have tickets on the 50 yard line, in the nosebleeds, or you can't afford a ticket to the game. Everybody can look forward to Saturdays was stuck and getting that experience. Because when I was growing up, I couldn't necessarily afford to go to every single college game like that but outside the stadium being a part in that environment that's what I wanted to be so somebody can be able to experience and say they had a good time or they had a memorable moment even if they can get into the game hmm. 